So for adalimumab, um, I think what's worth highlighting before we talk about the impact or anything, I think for adalimumab, it's a very unique situation. It's something we've never seen before, and it's a, rather unlikely that we're going to see any synch in such synchronicity in the launches. Um, for now, it's still early days. We're three months in. Uh, if you look at the overall European uh, use uh, of the adalimumab options, I think we're probably, uh, it's been launched in, in probably half of the countries. Um, and it's been, where it's been, like Germany, it's been used to a higher extent than over a short period than the previous biosimilars, showing greater confidence, greater acceptance. Um, it's true that governments were very keen and I think another unique feature of Adalimumabs is not so much, again, the impact, but the way to the launches. And while some governments have been preparing a lot the, the launches, the introduction of biosimilars, for Adalimumab it was extreme preparation. And we've seen in the UK or Denmark, like really intense preparation, looking at all the features of the system that needed to be ready in time for those uh, successful, let's say, uptake, launches, introduction, so on.